Alhamdulillah Thumma salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'd Fassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Insha'Allah today we are going to be doing the page creation and pixel setup So for you to be able to run ads on Facebook You will be needing a page And that's why we need to create a page And we also need to set up a pixel So the essence of a pixel is to tell Facebook whenever we have an order and so that Facebook will be able to look for similar people like those that are other than our page so that more people will be able to place order on our website. So now that we understand the importance, we're going to be going to facebook.com to create our page. So I'm on Facebook. So when you get to your Facebook, when you load your Facebook account, what you want to do is you want to come to this left side. So and you look for page. So this is the pages. So the arrangement differs sometimes. So it might be up, it might be down, depending on how frequently you use the feature. So, but just you'll see it then once you come down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on create new page. So we're going to call our page something. So depending on what you want to call. It. So I'm just going to call mine e-commerce. So you call your page whatever you like. So the category. So once we have our name selected, then we'll just go to maybe jewelry and watches or something. Yeah, jewelry and watch. Watch it soon. And we'll click on create page. So sometimes this might go, sometimes it might not go. So you can see this went through. So sometimes it won't go. So if it doesn't go, you have a number of options. The first option is to use your phone. You use Facebook Lite app and you use it to try. You log into your Facebook on Facebook Lite, L-I-T-E. And then you try to create a page from Facebook Lite. So the second option is to use a VPN. So you just use ZenMate, ZenMate VPN. So if you search for ZenMate VPN, just click on it sorry about that it's the chrome extension i need so just click on it and you add the chrome extension but in my case i don't need it so since i've done it so next thing is our website so our website is e-commerce training.com.ng so our phone number so our phone number is a nigerian phone number it's nigeria and we input our phone number our email address to so input our email so we are always open and we'll click on next. So the next thing is to have our profile picture and our cover photo. So our profile picture will be the picture of our product. So this is fine. Then we add our cover photo too. So with this, we are good to go. Let's click on next. So the next thing is to connect your WhatsApp. So you're going to try connecting it on your end. I've tried doing this before in the past, but it didn't go through. But you can try it on your end if it will go through. So I'm going to skip it for now. And I'll click on next. And I'll click on done. So with this, I've created my page. So once my page is created, the next thing I want to do is to set up my pixel. So for our pixel setup, we're going to be needing the pixel setup document. So this is the link to the pixel setup document. I'm going to be sharing it with you inshallah so this is the document so what you want to first do is when you have it you don't need to request edit access what you just need to do is come to file and click on make a copy come to file and click on make a copy now you need to be signed into your google or gmail account to be able to make a copy if you are not signed in the only option you will have is to download it so so this is just i can just leave it as pixel setup and make a copy so when you make a copy then you'll be able to edit it when you make a copy, then you'll be able to edit it because we're going to be editing one or two things. So and what we're going to be editing is this place in color. You can see this place I, is written pixel ID and pixel ID. So we're going to be copying our pixel ID in here and in here. So this funnel header code is such that whenever we put it in our total reach, there's a place we're going to paste it in our total reach. Once you paste it in your total reach, it's going to be tracking both our landing page, that is our other page, for our smartwatch and also the thank you page so anybody that visits the page is going to tell facebook so so and so the person visited your this page oh, and to and facebook will record it okay one person has visited two people have visited so facebook will be recording the page views on both the landing page and also on the thank you page however what we want to do is that whenever they submit the form and they reach the thank you page we want to tell facebook that they have actually ordered and you should tell facebook that okay record it as a purchase so and it is for that reason we need to add this code to our thank you page that tell, tell facebook that anybody that submits the form and gets to this thank you page that a purchase has been made so i'm going to be showing you how we're going to do that now so the first thing is our pixel id 
So how do we get our pixel ID? We need to go back to Facebook. So I'm going to be going to Facebook now. Facebook. Facebook.com. So once you are on your own page, what you want to do is you want to go to Facebook Ads Library. So it's on this left side. If you don't see it on this left side, you just click on see more and you see it ads manager. So the arrangement might be different as I usually say. So the arrangement might differ from person to person. It doesn't matter. So when you get to the ads manager, we are now going to, once it's done loading wood, then select event manager. So I'm going to show you how you get to event manager. So we're in our ads manager. So you come to this left side. Once you put your cursor there, it's going to show. And you come to all tools, all tools and from all tools we are going to go to event manager you can see event manager so once you click on events manager that is where we are going to see our pixel so if you've not run ads before and your event manager is not set up it's going to ask you to set up a data source it's going to ask you to set up a data source so and once you are done setting up the data source then you are going to have an interface like this so under this overview what we are interested in is this id you can see this id this id is the id for your pixel you can see it this id that's what we need so we'll copy this id and we're going to paste it in that our document so instead of this pixel id now you have to be very careful you can see that there's this apostrophe before it and an apostrophe after it you make sure that it's not deleted so you just carefully paste it in between so you just delete all of this and you paste it you can see i've pasted the id you can see that the apostrophe after and the one before is still there so i'll do the same thing for the second one now look at it there's no apostrophe before and there's no apostrophe after so it's just immediately after the equals to sign so the same thing we're going to paste the pixel id and that's all so the second thing we're not going to use we're going to copy all of this thing after pasting the pixel id so your own pixel id will be different from my own so so you just click on copy and once you've copied it, what we want to do is we are going to now go to our GUI level. So when you get to your GUI level, your GUI level total reach sub account, you're not going to go to sites. So on that sites, you are going to see funnels. So it's in these funnels, you know, this is the smartwatch we designed earlier. On. So you click on it. So after clicking on our smartwatch website, then what you want to go to is our settings. So this settings is where we are now going to paste that code. You can see it add tracking code so this is where we are pasting it add tracking code you now paste everything ctrl v so everything like that hmm? so remember you are going to first edit it on that document after you now edit it you now what paste it you insert your own pixel id and you must click save so when you save it then it has already done we've done the first step now going back to this document i said the second thing is that we are going to now go to thank you page and we're going to add this Edda code. You can see it is purchased that is there. So the essence of it is that the first one that we added is for the old funnel and to be tracking that okay, this person came to this page, this person came to this page, this person came to this page. But it is not going to track that okay, this person has ordered, even if they click the submit to order for the product. Facebook will not know. The only way Facebook will know is if we tell it. And how do we tell it? We are going to use this code, we are going to copy it, and we're going to paste it in our thank you page on our total reach GUI level. So we are going to go to our thank you page now. When you get to thank you page, you are going to open it. That thank you page, edit in new tab. So our thank you page is done loading. So what we are going to do is now, we are not going to go up here. You can see here, you are going to go to this third one, tracking code. You are now going to click on it. You can see edit tracking. This is where you are now going to paste it. Control V. So this is, and the implication is that whenever anybody submits their information, go and tell Facebook that the person has already placed an order, he has already made the purchase. And Facebook too will now say, oh, this person made the purchase. We now start looking for people like that person. Ah, this person, oh, he has this feature, he has this feature, he's on this group, he, he likes this kind of thing. Okay, let me look for people like this person and show the ads to him. Maybe they will like it. And like that and like that, it will start learning the kind of people that like your products and it will show it to them more and more. And your ads will perform better and better and better. And that way, YouTube will be able to track what results you are having even from Facebook. So what you want to do is you click on save. So with this, we have done the first part of our pixel setup. The second part of our pixel setup is to test what we have done. So how do we do that? We'll be needing Facebook pixel helper. 
so we'll be looking go, you search for facebook pixel helper okay that's it so you're going to install the inst you're going to add the extension to your chrome okay so then the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we pin it so it's pinned now you can see i've pinned it right? so after that we are now going to go to our website so for us to go to our website we'll come here we'll go to the the first page we'll click on view page when we click on view page we'll be looking at it you can see the facebook pixel part is showing green here it means that this website that this page that we are on is being tracked you can see you can see that it's saying that facebook is tracking what page view on this page you can see you can see so that shows that what the pixel we have set up is working so the second thing we want to do is we want to check again on the second level is that we want to try to place an order to be sure that it is actually working at it as it should so we'll come down to place an order on the page so i'm just going to use this information and i'll click order now so this is the thank you page as we've expected so we'll now check it again you can see it is now two it's saying that there are two you can see it has said that facebook i've seen purchase i'm sorry i've seen page view and it has also seen what purchase so it means that it is tracking both page view and it's also tracking what purchase so now we can see that we have our pixel set up so inshallah we are going to continue with the aspects that has to do with launching our campaigns in the subsequent videos we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it better understood and said and he forgives us our shortcomings subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik nash'adu an la ilaha illa ant wa nastakfiruka wa natubu ilik wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh